Welcome to the Arduino Projects using the temperature module. If you like this channel, feel free to give us a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel because we will be doing a lot of projects on the Arduino. So here are the things you need. The first thing you will need is a temperature and humidity sensor known as DHT11 and three male female connectors black, red, and white. As you can see, the temperature sensor does bend forward. Do not bend it too far as it will break the sensor and detach it from the four connectors. Connect a black wire to the third pin of the sensor. Now connect a red wire to the second pin of the sensor. Now connect a white wire to the first pin of the sensor. On the Arduino, Connect a red wire to the 5 volt connection and a black wire to the ground connection. Now connect a white wire to pin number 2 of the Arduino. Now let's do some code. Before we do the setup, we need to make some identifications. Let's include the library. And I will include a link on the top, which will show you how to install a library on the Arduino IDE software programming. Next, make a definition. So copy the code as you see it. Now we are going to make a static variable, a constant, which is an integer. Copy the code as you see it. We now go to the setup. So let's put code in the setup. That begins the serial port at 9600. Before the loop begins, we take a temperature reading. Copy the code as shown.
So now you are going to make an if statement. And after this decision is made, or rather the procedures for the decision will be surrounded by braces, as you see. There we go. So we put inside the if statement the braces which represent another if statement inside to check the readings. Another set of braces go here, which contains other parts of variables that will be defined. You are looking at what is known as a nested if statement. You have one if statement inside another if statement. Very common in code. It is very important to put the return true line above and the return false lines. That is important. So now let's look at the loop, which will continue over and over and over again. So copy the code as shown. Our first one, we will be making a variable called a float type of variable and another variable of humidity. So now we are going to measure what data comes out of that module. We now make another if statement. And in between the parentheses is the comparison. And after that comparison is tested, you will see braces giving you some jobs that will be done. And there are the braces. This area with the serial print statements will display the temperature and the humidity in the output of the serial monitor. So type in the code as shown. So let's test the code. So we found an error. That's what errors look like. And as you can see, I put a period between DHT and sensor. That needs to be changed to an underscore. Let's test it again. And it finds the next error. 
and on that error you have to check the spelling of that variable let's test it again now the code is good and it is being sent to the Arduino if you click on the serial monitor you will see the display every four seconds that will give your current degrees and your humidity if you like the video feel free to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to keep track of all the various Arduino projects and leave some comments and let me know if you have found any problems with this module or if you found any other modules that work better and the most important thing is to have fun with your Arduino and always remember keep on learning